Hello guys, Brad on YouTube again, and I actually wanted to do a fragrance review right now. I know some of you guys might be wondering if I'm going to ever do another fragrance review, and maybe just do uh, body creams and lotions, but no, I still got uh, a lot of fragrances to review, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and do a review for you guys in case you're thinking I'm losing my marbles or something, but uh, the fragrance I have on uh, deck right now is from Ralph Lauren, called Ralph Lauren Safari. A decant that I uh, got in a swap with uh, Cam Davis 38. And um, this fragrance was released way back in 1992. And it is classified as a woody aromatic. And the note breakdown for this one. Top notes. Aldehydes. Artemisia. Coriander. Lavender. Green notes. Narrowly. Bergamot and lemon. In the middle notes we have cyclamen. Carnation, cinnamon, tarragon, jasmine, and rose. And in the base, we have leather, sandalwood, amber, patchouli, musk, oak moss, and cedar. And uh, as far as the base note community goes, 43 positives, 15 negatives. I mean, 43 positives, 15 neutrals, 3 negatives. So, um, now when I first apply this fragrance and smell it, I get like this kind of like this cool herbal refreshing type smell. Um, now over base notes as well, when they do their note breakdown, they mention eucalyptus, which I think you know needs to be brought to your attention as well because you know this does kind of have like an like a cooling aloe type smell. You could maybe say eucalyptus or aloe or something. Kind of has like a just like a very you know, like a vapor type effect, like a cough drop or aloe or shaving cream with aloe or something. It has that kind of a, a soothing type smell to it. But when they put that eucalyptus in there, they also had to blend in a bunch of spices. And that's you know, what gives it sort of this uh, old school smell as well. A very like uh, mature old school type smell. So, uh, just like with Rive Gauche, it does kind of remind me of shaving cream. Uh, I think it's just uh, the spices are a little bit different. But I'll put some Rive Gauche on my other arm. Kind of interesting when I compare the two, um, you know, and it makes me appreciate Rive Gauche that much more because I think, you know, at first I wasn't sure which one I liked better, but I think, you know, the more I, I smell these two side by side, the more I really appreciate Rive Gauche more. With Rive Gauche, it kind of has like a sweet, spicy, warm smell to it. I guess maybe that like, star anise kind of gives it like that candy, licorice type vibe. And then the clove kind of warms it up and spices it. It's, to me, it's just more pleasant. With the uh, Safari, you know, the spices just kind of have more of an old man vibe to my nose. Um, and... I don't really don't even pick up much like of the woods and the leather and stuff. I mean, those notes don't really start to uh, kick in until it's been on your skin for a while, and then by then you can't really detect them anyway. So you know, if, you know, so it's not really so much about woods and leather. It's just about just like that kind of like a soothing aloe type smell with like some. Um, mature smelling spices like kind of like a 70s or 80s era spices um so i'm not really all that impressed with this one i mean i've worn it to work you know i can tolerate it but you know I'm, after this uh, sample was gone i'm not going to rush out and buy a bottle by any means um but i will say this um if you do like uh those type of scents like the shaving cream style scents you might want to give this one a try i would say that uh yeah start with rive gauche first if you uh tried rive gauche and you didn't like it. Maybe you can go ahead and try the Safari. But on the other hand, if you try Rive Gauss and you really, really liked it and you want another scent with a similar, kind of like an old school shaving cream vibe, you might want to give uh, Safari a, you know, a try as well. I mean, just imagine, you know, the, uh, how great that, you know, that soapy, that foamy, that spicy, warm shaving cream. This soap, oh, it's just so well, I'm going to go, guys. It's been a long day. Um, thanks for watching, and have a nice day.